Exercise 1.6 deals with two special types of triangles. The first one is the 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree triangle. Suppose there is a right angle triangle where angle B is 90 degrees. Angle C is 30 degrees. Then we have angle A as 60 degrees. Then this triangle ABC is a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. So according to the theorem of 30, 60, 90 triangle, we have the side opposite to 30 degrees is equal to, and in this case, the side opposite to 30 degrees is this, side AB. So is equal to AB, and the side opposite to 30 degrees is equal to half multiplied by hypotenuse. So whatever is the hypotenuse, the side is half of it. For instance, if hypotenuse is 10, then this side AB, which is opposite to 30 degrees, would be 5. And the side opposite to 60 degrees, and in this case the side opposite to 60 degrees is BC, is equal to root 3 upon 2 multiplied by hypotenuse. So root 3 upon 2 into 10 would be 5 root 3. So this is 5 root 3. So in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, if even one side is given, we can find the other two sides. Suppose if 5 is given, we can find the hypotenuse is the double of it, 10, and the side opposite to 60 degrees is 5 root 3. Similarly, we have another triangle called the 45 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree triangle. And the theorem says that if there is a 45, 45, 90 triangle, then the side opposite to 45 degrees. In this case, there are two sides which are opposite to 45 degrees. AB is opposite to 45 degrees, and also BC is opposite to 45 degrees. So AB and BC are equal. So in a 45, 45, 90 triangle, two sides are equal. And that is equal to 1 upon root 2 into hypotenuse. So whatever the hypotenuse is, this is 1 upon root 2 into hypotenuse. For example, if the hypotenuse is, let's say, 16 root 2, then we can say that the side opposite to 45 degrees is 1 upon root 2 into hypotenuse, so root 2 and root 2 gets cancelled, and AB is 16 and so is BC, that is also 16. The above two theorems are mostly used in numerical problems involving the right angle triangle with any of the above angles given. So it could just contain 30 degree with a 90 degree, so it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Or it could contain 45 degree with a 90 degree, so again it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. But sometimes we are given equilateral triangles. And in equilateral triangles we use the 30, 60, 90 triangle here. That's because all angles of equilateral triangle are 60 degrees. And suppose if we have, let's say, AD perpendicular to BC, that would be 90 degrees. So, triangle ABD is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and triangle ADC is also a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So, suppose if you are given that side of a triangle is 6 centimeters, then find the height AD, then it would be the side opposite to 60 degrees. So we can say that triangle ABD is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and therefore BD, uh, so AD, therefore AD, the altitude, is root 3 upon 2 into hypotenuse. And you can say that it is the side opposite to 60 degrees. And therefore it is root 3 upon 2 into 6, 2 ones are 3 are. So it's 3 root 3 units for centimeters. So remember 30, 60, 90 triangles are used in equilateral triangles. Similarly, if you have been given that there is an isosceles right angle triangle, isosceles right angle triangles means A, B, and B say equal. And angle B is a right angle. So in isosceles right angle triangles, we automatically have the base angles equal, and they are 45 degrees each. 
So isosceles triangle triangles are nothing but 45 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree triangles. So again you can apply the 45, 45, 90 triangles here. Similarly, if a square is given and the diagonal is also given or asked, we can say that triangle A, B, C, since A, B and B say equal, it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So 45, 45, 90 triangles are also used in squares. Just to summarize this, suppose the three angles are 30 degree, 40 degree, uh, 45 degree and 60 degrees. Then the side opposite to, let's say 30 degree, it would be half multiplied by hypotenuse. Side opposite to 45 degree would be 1 upon root 2 multiplied by hypotenuse. And side opposite to 60 degrees is root 3 upon 2 into hypotenuse. This can be used if hypotenuse is given or is asked or to be determined. So solve more problems from this exercise 1.6.